Hello friends, hi. How I became fluent in English? In this video, if you expect that uh, I have become fluent by using any app or by using any downloadable course or by using any book or I became fluent in 21 days or 30 days, that's not the fact actually. I'm not here to tell you any shortcut, but I'm here to tell you the facts and the realities. In fact, on my channel, I speak only the fact, I speak the reality, I speak the truth. I'm not doing these videos to gain subscribers. I'm doing these videos to tell the truth and to change my students and to help them improve their communication and their confidence. In this video, I'll tell you how I became fluent in English and the real method, not any advertisement strategy. I'm going to tell you everything exactly what happened with me right from my school days till now. So if you are interested in improving your communication and if you are interested in using the right method, then this video is for you. It's a must for you. Watch till end and you will realize that how I became good in English, how I became a confident speaker. Come on, let's start. All right, friends, uh, before uh, telling you about my fluency secrets, in fact, there are no secrets, let me tell you. I'll, I'd like to tell you about my background. I was born and brought up in a small town, Sangli, situated uh, in Western Maharashtra on the, bank of, on the banks of River Krishna. Very small, sleepy, peaceful town, pollution free. I still live here itself. I went to school in 1982 and during those days, there were no English medium schools, no question of convent schools. So I was born and brought up in a Marathi environment. I went to a vernacular school nearby. And I mean, there was no question of English. They would, they would study everything in Marathi, speak in Marathi. The fact of the matter is, when I went to my engineering, in the first year, I saw a man who can speak in English. Till then, I hadn't seen any person who can speak in English, fluent English. It was our principal who gave the keynote speech on the first day of our engineering. And that day I was quite astonished. I was quite uh, surprised and bewitched to see my principal, how the way he was speaking. So this was my background. I mean, I never participated in any gathering in school, never participated in any speech competition in school, not even in college also. I never participated in gathering or group discussions or any extracurricular activities. I was very shy, very, very shy. In fact, I was an introvert person. Maybe uh, I was having low confidence. I think that was the reason because I wanted, but I never went on the stage. Okay, so this, this was my background. In fact, I remember during my engineering days, it was, it was uh, the final year project. I had to give a seminar. And I went on the stage and I could not speak a single word. It was just disaster, failure, a flop show in front of all my class. Everyone laughed at me actually. And my teacher gave me 11 marks out of 25. So this is the background from where I came. Now uh, I passed out. And then in the year around 1999-2000, uh, one incident happened. Uh, I went to a hotel for some inquiry. And then there was a lady at the reception. She said that, what do you want, sir? I could not comprehend. I could not uh, figure out what to say because it was a surprise for me. I couldn't respond to her. And she realized that I was not good in English. So she changed her language to Marathi. But that incident hurt me a lot. I felt very humiliated. I felt like, yeah, come on, I'm not good in English. I should do something about it. At that time, I was working as an engineering teacher. Then I realized that, no, this is not what I should do. I should change myself. I, of course, during my college days, when I was a teacher, I realized that students are also having the same problems. They have low confidence, poor communication skills, but they are very good in academics. That day I decided that I will not make my career in engineering. I will make my career in soft skill communication. So, dear friends, I started studying all these things in detail. How we can improve our communication, our English. I studied a lot of grammar books, but of no use. I knew every grammar rule, but I couldn't use them. I couldn't speak. I couldn't put that rule into practice. 
nearby I inquired uh, around there were many classes who would train for English communication and their tagline was be fluent in 21 days or maximum two month course were there. I was thinking like how can one speak fluently in 21 days it's impossible we can't do that. Then I started doing study. I, I literally read many books and then I found that actually those who are non-native fluent speakers non-native means they are not born in English communication as they are not born in English speaking country in English environment but they are good in communication. These people have two important qualities. Number one the English psychology English learning psychology they have they have a different belief system and number two is they have different habits of English. I started working on that. I researched and first of all I started implementing experimenting those habits on me. Parallelly I was having my institute in fact there were three type of students who would come to me number one poor in English number two average number three above average. Those who were poor they could not read properly could not understand properly could not speak of course those who were average they can understand they could understand they could read but and they could speak some average English but there were third category also that is they were above average some were good but they had low confidence they could read they could speak but confidence was low I was interested in the bottom two that is average and above average okay now I found out that these people are learning a language using the old educational technique that is learning through grammar and that was the reason why they were not able to speak properly fluently I did lot of study and then I started first I worked on my own mindset and I developed my mindset which mindset was that first and most important mindset to speak fluently in English confidently in English you don't need grammar you need something else that something else is habits English habits number one number two you can't be fluent in 21 days or 60 days or all such things I ditched all those things and I believe that it's a lifelong continuous process it's not going to happen in two months or three months second mindset I changed third mindset I changed if I want to be fluent in English I have to be disciplined and consistent there is no other alternative I have to be disciplined and consistent this was the third major shift I did in me and the last major shift was this if you want to speak confidently fluently you must be ready to make mistakes yeah if you if you if you want to speak without making mistake it's impossible it's not going to work these were the mindsets which I developed in me and I started working on my students another point was there another point was developing English habits developing English habits if you want to speak fluently in short if you want to develop a language not grammar language grammar is a subject believe me grammar is a subject I'm talking about language if you want to develop a language you have to develop English habits which non-native but fluent speakers have and those habits are four in fact number one listening audiobooks or podcasts number two reading books story books and reading general books number three very important audio visual techniques and number four the match practice actually going and speaking all these four habits all the videos I have made I have given them in the description go through those videos I develop habits and I develop the mindset and today I'm in front of you dear friends I told you on my channel everything is authentic real and fact no rhetoric no any no any kind of unrealistic claims I tell all the facts so I developed one course and named it as English communication and confidence therapy a new approach in this course I work on very important the mindset of English speakers the psychology of English speakers I develop the same psychology in my students number two I work on their English habits I help them to develop the English habits which non-native speakers have and when they could do these two things they start developing the of course third point is practicals they are exposed to a lot of practicals a lot of training a lot of discussions a lot of sessions a lot of, a lot of debates a lot of activities we do and this session is online if you are interested in this session the description in the description I have given a link you can go through the link contact my team they will contact you back 
and they will help you to get admission. But dear friends, what I want to tell at the end of the day is, it's not that easy. There is no shortcut. You have to go the right way. In one month or two months, you won't be able to develop. And this is the secret of my fluency. And let me tell you one thing. Even today, I'm working on my vocabulary. I'm working on my communication. I'm working on my English. I read a lot. I listen to audiobooks a lot. Whole day, whenever I get time, I do that. There is no secret. This is the secret. What? There is no secret. This is the secret of English fluency. Friends, I would like to know from your side which methods you use to improve your English communication. Please write in the description. And of course, I am there on Instagram, on Facebook. Come there. You will get more such informational videos. Plus, please subscribe my channel and like my video if you like it. So, this is the secret of my fluency. Thank you, friends. And I am sure that you are going to take the right way and become fluent and confident. My best wishes to you. Goodbye. Take care.